Oh my gosh, this car has so much power. It spins out as soon as you hit the gas. It's crazy. It's like phenomenal cosmic powers. Oh, it's a little crazy though. It's a little hard to control. Oh, off the rail, off the rail. Uh, well, that's not good. Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to the shop. As you can see, I've been doing some more work in between videos. I'm at level 24 now, so we've, uh, we're very, very close, uh, finally, to the point where we're going to unlock the paint bay. I have about six levels left to go. Uh, you can see here we get access to that once we get to level 30. Uh, this next tier is going to give me access to 95% repair on parts, which would be great. So the next time we level up, we'll hit level 25, and I can get that, which would be fantastic. And then I've got a few more levels to go before we can get to the paint bay. And that's ultimately when we're going to finish out the body on our Dodge Charger. Uh, last time we did a video, we covered all the mechanical components of it. I started it up without remembering to put oil in it, so it's a good thing there's no penalty in that for the game. Uh, and it was also missing a little clip off, actually two little clips off of the, uh, uh, the distributor cap. But I wanted to see whether you could take the car out for a drive on the test track. Uh, even though the body's not finished on it because I noticed with other cars when you got to try to test them if you're missing any pieces on it It tells you that the pieces are missing and you can't you can't go forward with the car But it seems that it actually you can take incomplete rebuilds out for a drive So what I thought we'd do today uh, Since I've been doing a lot of a lot of repairs and stuff and I might still tackle one today But I kind of want to go out and try out racing. I haven't tried racing yet in the game even though they added it as a patch a little while ago We now have a car that's got some serious power behind it and I think it would be fun to kind of take this thing out for a spin and see how it goes. So, let's go check out the races. We're going to try racing this thing, even though it's incomplete. That, that should be interesting. All right, we're at the racetrack. I can't look around. Um, I thought I would actually... Kind of, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try controller support here, too, and see it, see how we can, if we can steer any better with the controller than I can with the keyboard, because... Getting fine controls of the keyboard is really tough. Oh my gosh, this is slippery. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh boy, this this does not... Oh, I found a camera change. Uh, that was probably not the button I was supposed to hit. Oh, how do I get the camera back to normal? <laughs> I don't even know. All right, so I can control the camera with the right stick. Oh, oh this is going to be hard. <laughs> So what I've been finding with this thing when I take it out for a drive is that it actually has so much power, it's hard to control it because the, the wheels get really greasy. She slides around everywhere. Gotta be a little bit more subtle with the accelerator, I guess. Oh, no! Alright, that's, that's what I did to change the camera. It's actually clicking on the... Oh! Clicking on the left control stick when I'm trying to steer. <laughs> this isn't going very well. I kind of like... I do like this view, though. It does look pretty cool. We've right through. Yeah, we got the other road. Not for long. Ah. This thing has just. It, it has a crazy amount of power to it. <laughs> it looks really ridiculous without it being finished either. So the funny thing is, in order to drive the car, I, I had to put the clips on the distributor cap. It wouldn't let me leave the garage without the clips on the distributor cap. But for whatever reason, I could take this thing out for a drive without any steering wheel. There's no steering wheel in this car, and I can still I can still drive it. <laughs> so apparently, the interior pieces in this game are really just about aesthetics, I guess. I kind of want to zoom in, but I don't know how. All right, so I'm gonna break as I as I come up to these. Oh my gosh, this the steering control on this is awful. I wonder if I, I wonder if I might be better with the keyboard. So. I can go in a straight line easier with this because I can do subtle adjustments with the control stick. But the wheel just doesn't turn. When I crank it over on the control stick, I get I get like nothing in terms of a response from the car. There we go. Maybe it'll work better when I'm actually in the driver's seat. I kind of doubt it though. Oh yeah, definitely not. It's probably a good thing I didn't fix up the body on this because we're just we would have trashed this thing already. I thought when we were doing the racing, we might actually be racing against other cars, but it may be, I think it might just be a time trial kind of scenario. Like you race and just see if you can get the, see if you can kind of improve on your time. Ugh. Yeah, see that, that corner is not manageable on this thing. Maybe with a handbrake or something I could, I could drift around it, but. 
with the regular steering, it just, just doesn't seem to be viable. Like, look at that, I wasn't even going that fast, and I had the, I had the wheel turned, well, <laughs> I had the non-wheel turned all the way to the right. I wonder if it would let me steer better if I had a steering wheel here. Maybe that's part of my challenge. Oh my gosh, there's no stopping this thing. <laughs> That's crazy. When you get this thing up to top speed and you get to that corner, I hit the brake early there and still nothing. Just slid straight into it. Alright, I made that corner a little bit better. I didn't hit the wall this time. I'm definitely going to need some practice driving in this thing. Which way is it? Okay, we're going left here. Oh, no, come on. There we go. <laughs> oh, we would have lost so much paint there if this car had any. Go, buddy, go. So I'm not even going that fast. Well, actually, like I said, I'm going pretty fast. 100 kilometers an hour there. It's a little quicker than I thought I was going. I wonder if you can do burnouts in this. Like, if I hit... There's no, like, brake, but there's, like... The reverse is basically the brake, so I wonder if you can like hit reverse and forward at the same time and do a burnout. All right, here we go. We got the straightaway. Let's get some speed. 160 kilometers an hour, 75. Let's break 200. Oh my gosh, this thing's fast. <laughs> yeah, sliding into that corner at 140 is not not gonna be six. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Caught air. All right, let's get this thing spun around. Checkpoint zero of eight. Wait a minute, there's checkpoints. Checkpoint one of eight. Oh, I see. Lap four. Come on, car. Come on, car. I wish there were other cars on the road, but they would have probably already finished the race by now. <laughs> we're not. We're not doing this exceptionally well here. Oh, the tires are so greasy. All right, clearly, I, I just really need to keep the speed down on this thing. I, I, I can't let it get up to get up to speed. The course is too windy. If I can keep the speed down a little bit, I can kind of control it a little bit more. <laughs> it's sliding everywhere, though. All right, we made that quarter. This might be our best lap, even though we're going slowest. Alright, we'll let it all out on the straightaway here, but by the time we get to the checkpoint at the start here, we pretty much have to have to lay off the gas right away, lay into the brake. Otherwise, we'll never slow down enough to make this corner at the end. There we go. Oh, no, too fast, too fast! Oh, get it off the grass! Oh, poor car. I kind of wish they did some sort of an animation so there was a driver in the car, too. It looks a little strange when you're driving around with nobody in it. Yeah, the last lap there was... Was it my fastest? I'm not sure. So I have one lap that I, did one, I got in, around at 121, but... I don't think that was the last lap. 112. Into the corner at 112. Go, car, go! this wears out parts too so like when people bring the cars into the shop they've got all kinds of different wear on the parts of the car and we got to repair them all but i wonder if the i wonder if this will wear out any parts because i'd be pretty much burning the heck out of these tires by now <laughs> i want to fish it around there but i'm so worried about crashing into the wall i guess i can't worry too much about crashing the wall i don't seem to be able to damage the body probably a good thing. Whoa! 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 Woohoo! Full donut! <laughs> I'm going backwards! <laughs> Let's turn this thing around. That was fun. So 
I don't think there's any seriousness to the races. I think it's really just about entertainment, getting a chance to, to take out the cars that you've rebuilt and take them out for a spin. But I do kind of wish it wasn't quite so windy a track. I can't let this thing loose. I get I get a little bit on that straightaway, but then but then the rest of it is pretty much I've got to skate around all these corners and things, which means I gotta kind of have to keep it under 100 kilometers an hour. And there's just no way to make those corners. Alright, we slid that one a little bit better. That was good. Come on, car. No, no, we're going all the way around. Ugh. Oh, look at those burnouts. We would definitely be running through the tires on this thing. Deacon here, there. Oh, no, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. This car doesn't have doors. I wonder if it has seat belts. Ugh. Oh, nope. Lost it. Too much power. This thing has a very, like, it has an impressive amount of power on it, though. It's just, it's just very hard to control it, that's all. Ugh, see, too much slide. Even when I took my foot off the gas, or I couldn't get it to level out. I want to go in the parking lot there, try going over that ramp. So this is, like, the racetrack version, and, oh, we got a pit, we got a pit option. <laughs> we went through the pit. Us. Jeez, that actually helps make that corner a little bit more manageable. Oh, no, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, bring the back end around. Nope, we hit a little bit. It's just a little scratch. You won't even notice it. Oh, well, that, that was a little more than a scratch. <laughs> Alright, well, I, I don't know how many laps this thing will ultimately let us go. Do we just go like an infinite number of laps in it? gives us time and away we go or what the deal is but uh, there's also an option when you get into the car you can just start the engine or you can also drive it and I wonder if you choose to drive it if you get an option to drive down streets or anything or if it's just like it takes you out to the test track or the racetrack I think I think it might be interesting to check that out so let's head back to the shop we'll see if we can take this thing out either for a drive on the road or if uh, if that just takes us over to the test track That was pretty cool. That thing, this thing has so much power, it's really hard to control it on those corners. Uh, I mean, you, you just have to go so slow, otherwise you just slide right through everything. So I'm kind of hoping there's an option here where we can go, just drive around a little bit. And maybe drive somewhere that's a little bit more usable. Let's drive the car. See, it looks like this might be the test track. But let's check this out and see what happens. Oh yeah, okay, so it actually does just kind of take it. So you can go to the test track or you can go to the race track, but that's, that's about it. I mean, look at all these barns I have opened up. We should look for some more wrecks too. Uh, let's take this out of spin on the test track because this is uh, a little bit of a different shape track So we I don't know we might be able to kind of handle this a little better I'm not sure I'm gonna try controlling this with the, the, the mouse and keyboard and We'll see if we manage it any better than it did with the Xbox controller I'm kind of expecting not because if anything I, I feel like I have less control. Oh no. Oh Nelly. All right, let's go on the lawn <laughs> The cool thing about the test track is you can drive anywhere. Oh, oh no, that was no good. I'd love to find something to do like a crazy Dukes of Hazard jump with this thing. This may not be the General Lee, but I bet you she could get a good jump. Oh, come on. Oh, look at that smokers. Sweet. All right, let's go through the pylons. Oh, nope. There we go. Oh, there we go. Come on. We're going the wrong way, but that's okay. Oh, street lamp. All right, so this this ultimately isn't isn't that different from driving it around on like the normal racetrack or whatever. So you can't really do a whole lot of other things, sort of spin the car out a little bit, which is kind of fun and all. But it would be nice to be able to, to be able to race it against somebody. Oh, let's try and ramp this thing off of a guardrail. Woo oh, I flipped it. <laughs> oh no, major wreck. Oh. Once again, probably a good thing the body's not done on this yet. But it, it looks like the body's ultimately indestructible. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to flip the car, but apparently you can. That's cool. Let's get that pylon. And jump! Oh, no, that didn't work at all. Alright, well, let's go back and maybe raid some barns. 
I've been in so many repairs lately, I, I think I kind of want to look for uh, for some more finds. I'm not really interested in the junk that's actually inside of the, the chests and boxes and all that kind of stuff. This time, we're just going to be on the hunt for more cars that we can work on restoring. Uh, and hopefully find something that looks really cool at a really good, at a decent price. Alright, we have quite a few barns to pick from here. Uh, let's pick something like way out here. I don't know. I don't know that it makes any difference, but we'll try it out. All right, looks like we have a Corvette for our first option. That's pretty cool. Uh, what else have we got in here? So I, I, I probably could hunt through all this stuff for parts and things that we might be able to use to restore some of the body parts on our charger, but I don't have the, the ability to repair panel pieces anyway. I don't really want to buy a bunch of junk panels that can't be fixed. Um, let's go take a look at this Corvette and maybe see what the pricing is on this thing. Because I think it's a vet. What do they call this thing? Bolt Reptilia R2 Supercharged. 29000 for this thing. It is supercharged, though. All right, you know what? Let's grab this. I feel like I've, I've been building up a lot of cash. We're up to 250, almost 257000 I kind of want to buy some more stuff to just put in our, in our car parking. Get a little stable of things that we're going to work on. I think that's all I really want from this barn, though. Let's go take a look at the next one. Wow, it's like we have a little purple monster in this one. Uh, don't want that one. We already have something similar to this. Actually, this might be the same kind of car. Uh, Sakura Moon, yeah, we already have one of those. And a little station wagon jobby. Oh, that's kind of well, that's kind of neat. I like the intake. What is the deal with this one? Ilanti Calope. Uh, yeah, no, we don't want that. We're not looking for any little compacts. I want interesting cars. Man, I think we're getting all little barns today. This is no good. Uh, oh, this is a Camaro. Oh, this might be worth grabbing, maybe. The Bolt Rolet, which is, you know, definitely not a Bolt Rolet. <laughs> I love the names of these. 70,022 for that one. Let's see what else they have in here. Oh, what have we got? We have no Camino. 10,000 for this thing. The Bolt Atlanta. Otherwise known as the El Camino. Oh, what's this? We can't get over the, uh... Stuck by the hoe. That's pretty sweet looking. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It looks almost like maybe like a really old Porsche or something. 16,000 for the Sakura GT20. So maybe not. Maybe not so much the Porsche. That is kind of neat looking though. Um, and yet, I don't know. Should I go with the El Camino? What do they want for the El Camino? Right, 10,000. Oh, why not? Let's buy an El Camino. We can fix that up. Uh, send that to the car parking. And we're going to grab this up here, too. This fancy Bolt Rolet. Otherwise known as the Camaro. And we'll send this out also. I guess it's down to just about 200,000. I think I'm going to check out maybe one more bar. And we'll see if there's anything else we can snag. I also don't know how many parking spots I have left. So i got to be a little careful with that, I guess. All right, last one. I think I'd like I'd like to find something interesting in here, like a 1950s Ford pickup or something. But this this barn's even smaller than the last one. So small, in fact. I'm, uh, oh, another El Camino. It's got sort of a funny paint job on it. A little bit more expensive than the one that we bought. So you know, I think I'll I'll be happy with the small savings there. I'm gonna check out this barn's so small. I want one more. I'm, I'm hoping in this next one maybe we can find a 50s a 50s pickup. I think it'll be cool. Big money, no whammy. Ah, uh, no luck. Uh, is there uh, another Corvette kind of thing here? There's two of them. That's interesting. All right, this was kind of a big bust. Uh, we did get a couple cars that we could send back to the to the garage to work on, though, at least. Well, I didn't find the pickup truck I was looking for, but we did find a couple more cars to add to the stable, I guess. We had a lot of fun kind of booting around in the Dodge Charger. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a different video because I'm just I'm not going to do any car repairs today. It was just fun to drive around and find some more vehicles to work on. So let's take a look at what we have so far in our garage. We still have the Dodge Charger in on the lift, of course. But out here now, we've got the Sakura Moon. We've got this thing here that looks like an old Mercedes. But I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, this is the Fastback. Never mind. Celine Fast, Fastback, apparently. We've got our fancy Firebird. We've got... Uh, this is the, uh, the, the Dodge Challenger. We've got a little Corvette now. We've got an El Camino. Wow, the paint job on the El Camino is looking a lot nicer now that we brought it in the shop. It's funny how everything gets shinier when you bring it in here. It's like it's like we washed it on the way, which makes no sense. 
Then we've got a Camaro. So we've got, uh, looks like we've got about five spots left at the moment that we can put more cars. I don't think we have, no, this is all blocked off. We can't get a second level yet. I think there might be something later on where we actually get to expand on our garage so we can have a little bit more in, but... Next time, uh, next time we come back, we'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a whole bunch more repairs in between videos. I'm really hoping we can get to the point where I have that paint bay avail available, so we can do a full rebuild. And when we have that, I'm gonna do a full rebuild on stream, so that we can go like right from something that's just sitting out here as a junk heap in the garage to the full fully painted and completed car on the stream. I think that'd be kind of fun. Uh, but thanks everyone for checking out the video. I do hope you enjoy these and you come back and check out some more. We'll get back into more repairs and things next time. Uh, maybe a little less driving around. I wish I could drive on the streets. It seems like they've got a city out here, but just no streets to drive on. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.